phenomenon is British sensation Robert Pattinson. From billboards to magazine covers, these days you can't go anywhere without seeing his face. He began his career at the age of 15, and soon after, landed his first big role in another blockbuster franchise, Harry Potter. But it was his performance as Edward Cullen, the brooding vampire in Twilight, that has made him an international heartthrob. He's mobbed by adoring fans wherever he goes. Have you noticed them around? Lurking the fans? Uh, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, like in, in, in Paris, the, yesterday, there, there, there are a few. But I mean, it's, it, it's nice. I mean, the only time people, things get scary with fans is when there's just so many of them. Mm. And, and, and it just turns into like a, a kind of hysteria. Event. It's like Zulu. They just, they just <laughs> come in from the mountains. <laughs> That'd be fun. That's my. I love that scene. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't walk around my shirt off all the time. <laughs> like a little dog. Or <laughs> somewhere they printed photos of a toilet you've used. Oh, really? Really. That's nice toilet funny. as well, clean bowl. You put the seat down. I was very, uh, I was very impressed. But I mean, that's the thing. Me. thing. People read it. I mean, I'm yeah. so ignorant that like, I just think, say, oh, no one reads this stuff anyway. Like, I'm the only one who reads it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, like, and then you keep, and then it, it takes quite a while for it to. I don't think it even really has said in that anyone else reads it. Right. Yeah. Right. And so, like, sometimes you get frustrated about things, but, like, you know, it, it, it's. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I also had a heroin overdose really in New York as well, which was. That was an exciting one for my mother. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh, no. Yeah, Did your mom like, call you? Yeah. And, and also, I, I was so. I, I, like, I, I've been working so much, and my mom calls me up so much, but like, I didn't answer the phone. Oh my and God. I was just like, when I found out after, and one of the security guys from the film came to, like, and like, ran into my room and opened up. I was like, what are you doing? Like, <sighs> Welcome to Twilight Day on T4. Great to see you, sir. I did not know it was Twilight Day. You better believe it is. All day long, maybe. <laughs> it's like driving a fancy car. It's right. like you're insecure about something. <laughs> <laughs> that is wealthier. <laughs> Did you only get only slightly scary obsessive mm. fans? Mm. Fans, you? Yeah. Well, I guess. Add yeah, add I get scary add obsessive fans, I guess. <laughs> Pajamas or birthday suits in bed? Ooh, a birthday suit, obviously. <laughs> Last text message you received from a family member? Why aren't you calling me? <laughs> my mom. We are on the red carpet now with really what's become one of the biggest stars of the year, Robert Pattinson, the star of Twilight, who will also be in the sequel, who I also understand might be taking the stage tonight. I am, yes. All correct. All correct. You're one of the few secrets that leaked out that people are glad to know you'll be there. I know. I don't know why I was the only one. I, was quite, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, being the only one was leaked. You have a lot of young fans, don't you, now, at, since Twilight's come out. What has that reaction been when these 16, 17, 18-year-old people come up to you to say, you're awesome? I mean, I mean, I think I'd have the same reaction as, as anyone. It's just completely baffling. I mean, you know, it's, it's such a change in my life last year. I mean, it's, it's completely it's weird. <laughs> I would like people to know that, that you are an actor and you play many different roles. In fact, you have a movie coming out very soon. Uh, yeah, I do. I have, a, I have a film called Little Ashes, which is uh, the Salvador Dali and uh, Lorca biopic. It's out in May, I think. May 8th, I think. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on that, though. <laughs> well, will you be taking the stage with anyone we might know? Uh, it's with Amanda Seyfried. Yeah. Robert Pattinson, thank you so much. So quickly, I had five minutes. I was just like, don't worry, it's fine. I only need five minutes. What was it? Was it stodgy? Oh, I just had eggs and bacon. I was oh. running every second of it. That's gonna sit somewhere all day long. <laughs> I was like doing a thing with GMTV and it's like. Okay. Robert, you say hi to Oscar.com. Hey, Oscar.com. No, you're not. It's much different, and uh, it's it's um, uh, young girls, right? And then, uh, but now also, in addition to young girls, you get uh, their their mothers. Is that correct too? <laughs> <laughs>
And it's, it's a very strange experience having everyone clapping in, in the darkness when you kind of know you can't really tell who's there. Um, yeah, uh, there are there are, there are some others, and it also in addition to that, there was you know, there are a couple more guys on this sequel. Uh, oh. There was a guy, a kind of maybe two hundred thirty pound guy who was at the premiere, kind of Hispanic looking, and he was asking me to bite him as well. Uh, <laughs> and so, so I so I did, and. and uh, <laughs> And the surprising thing was, I kind of liked it afterwards. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I've, and, and, now, and I've, I've been out to dinner with him a couple of times. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the One last thing, as I spoke to Taylor uh, earlier, um, and obviously there's a human vampire werewolf triangle at the heart of the, the new film. Taylor told me werewolves are awesome, pretty much, and vampires are just pasty old rubbish men. No, I'm going to give you the chance to get back at him. What are you going to say to him? T tell me why vampires are so freaking awesome. At least I don't have to go around wearing denim hot pants to prove myself to anyone. We're back. And you're from another planet. We're back with Robert Pattinson. And uh, so this is huge. You have uh, a doll. Did you know that? I did. I was shown it yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I haven't I just, seen that one. This is the. You haven't oh, yeah, seen this one? Oh, I have one? seen that one. I didn't realize it came on a stand. That's, yes. that's a little bit awkward. Yeah. And look what you're wearing the Ellen underwear. I love that. You're actually. <laughs> That's nice. Jesus, if you know who you are when you're 23, you're a complete idiot. You're, you're, a, you're just a, a slug. I mean, it's, you should never know who you are. And that's the good thing about doing acting as a job, is that's your job to kind of, you know, try and mine parts of, uh, of your character that, that you don't know about and other people don't know about. I mean, people will always have the ability to surprise themselves, I think. And if you're not surprising yourself in life, then you might as well die. <laughs> I'm now going to ask you questions for you to answer in the style of Taylor, who plays <laughs> Jacob. You play a super scurvy werewolf. Give us your top tip for a menacing growl. My menacing growl would be like... Uh... Like playing against Britain's biggest heartthrob, and uh -huh. he answered in the style of you, and he said... Oh. Well, you know, I was really intimidated. It was really difficult for me because, you know, I'm never going to be able to compete on the same level. Mm. And, you know, he just kind of surpasses me in every aspect. So, wow. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Hysterical. But I'd like to give you your award. Uh, what? I don't know what it is. Like That's a wave cool. or something? That's like your proud winner of that. Wow. Thank you very much. It doesn't even say Prom King on it. I know, that's not the real one. We lost that. Genuinely was lost, but we'll, we'll find that somewhere. Someone will send that to you. What does that mean? What does that... Wh where, where do I... Uh... I didn't even think people had proms in England. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the deal now. Oh, really? Oh, go, yeah. Proms. God, that's a disgrace. That's yeah, just copying it? people. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks very much to everyone who's, who's listening on Switch. Uh, I am... I'm very proud of being the prom king. I will try to rule <laughs> benevolently. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a mouse. That's rubbish.